Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's lesson, we will learn how we can create buttons and zipper inside Marvelous Designer. So this is quite easy to do and something which is quite interesting. So let's simulate this model and here I have an open shirt. So first let's see how we can put the buttons and then we will see how we can put the like a zipper over here. So let's unsimulate it right now. And what we have to do here is that in the 3D window, we have here select move button. If you want to move or select a button that you have already created, if you want to create a button and button needs a button hole. And also if you want to close the button, so you have fasten button. So I will create the button uh, right now and we can create the button either in the 3D window or in a 2D window. So it's totally up to you. So I will create the buttons in the 2D window. It's quite easy to do that here. So just you have to click on it. Okay. And once you are done, it will allow you to make other buttons here. Okay. So let's make a few more like this. I think four is enough. Okay. And you can make a lot, but just to see how it works, let's make four right now. Now, one more thing you can do here is that you can go back here and make the button hole. This should be parallel to the button on the other side. Okay. So just select, create it like this. Okay. Make sure that they are parallel. And I'm just doing very quick. Otherwise you can keep everything aligned. And once you have the button and the hole, so you can take later the fasten button option. Now this will allow you to attach a button to the hole. So what you simply have to do, you have to click the button and then an arrow will pop up and then you can take the arrow to the side, which is basically here and click here, take it to this side like this, just like this. Notice they are not straight parallel, but just we are doing as an example. So uh, not do that much worry about it right now. Once you're done, you can go simulate it. As soon as you will do the simulation, they will start to attach to each other, but it kind of look weird. The reason it looks weird because they have, they're not pop, like properly arranged. So what you need to do is that just pull it on or like off until that get like they get kind of uh, attached properly. Okay. Just like this. And we'll take little effort to move it out. Okay. Once this is done, it won't be an issue. So here we go. We only the last part is left here. Okay, so we have to put this here inside. Now uh, everything is ready. Okay, so now the buttons are locked up. You can create as many you want. And one more interesting thing is that you can change the look, the size of the buttons. You simply have to go here, select and move the buttons. Okay, and then click on the buttons. Okay, and here you will have button options. Now this is the angle. You can change the way you want the button to be angled. Okay. But actually it's kind of creates sometimes the weird uh, stuff on the screen, like what it did to me. Okay. So better is to undo this right now.
Okay, so I'll select any one of these. And it's, what it will do is they just like change the angle. It will turn it around or something like that. Okay, now next here we have the thread length. So what does the thread length do is that like suppose if I will type it here one, so you can see the thread here length, the way it is attached is one millimeter right now. So I will keep it zero. Okay. And if you don't like the angle of it, you can simply go and change the angle. You can see it is rotating, changing the angle, but I will keep it as it is. Moreover, the most interesting thing I like is the style. So I can go here and see what kind of styles we have. Okay. To apply the styles simply. So you can go to hardware and trim and in the button. Okay. And inside the, but, uh, like hardware and trims and inside the hardware and trims, you will see buttons and you will get a lot of buttons over here. The one that you will really like, what you can do is that take that button. Like suppose I want a button, which is basically something like, uh, this so I can drag this and drop it here in the button uh, browser. Okay. And maybe I can take this one as well. And maybe let's see this as well. Okay. Let's do one thing because I don't have space here. Okay. And Let's make more space. So that's all. Now I will go back to my button option here. Let's close this. Oh, uh, well, like, uh, sorry, not close it, like make it shorter. And now in the style, what I can do is that I can just simply go here and choose whatever button I want. Like suppose if I want this sort of a button, if I click on it, you can see it will be applied. It, it will be applied over here. Now that the button is different. If I can select this one, I can use maybe this one. Okay. And this button, I can take it and maybe I can choose a star. Okay. Maybe this one, I can take it and use as this button. So I have a variety of different buttons here. I hope you have, you like this button options here. Now, what if we don't want buttons? We want a zipper. So what you can do is that simply again, you can take the select and move here, the buttons, delete the buttons and the button hole. Okay. And then once they all are deleted, we can create our zipper. Let's simulate it for now. Apart from button, you can also create zipper inside Marvel's designer, which is also quite easy to do that. Now I have kept my shirt open on purpose so I can create easily the zipper over here. What you need to do is that just go on your 3D window and on the top, you will see a zipper option. Just click on the zipper option. And here you will see uh, some seam lines have been highlighted, has been highlighted. So these seam, uh, like, uh, these seam lines have been highlighted just to uh, show you that this is the part where you can create the zipper. Now I will start from here, my zipper, and then all the way I will go to the bottom here and then maybe some here as well so double click it here so it will turn into black that means my first side of the zip is created now i will go to the other side like suppose here okay and then go down make sure you are creating from the uh, same level so it have to stay as this and click here done and it will take a little time and a zipper will be created. So here you go, you got the zipper here. Now, if I will start simulation, 
so you can see it has been zipped up so starting from the top from this part you can see it is zipped at the end and you can see clearly it's how detailed it is so basically the only 3d mesh over here is the zip and the holder itself this rest of the thing is what is just a simple plane which have a texture of zipper on it okay so that means if you will take this into zbrush you will the only mesh you will get is the like slider and the zip itself but this will be basically a simple plane so you might have to create a zipper inside uh zbrush or any other tool to uh, to give it three, uh, 3d realistic look even i think this part is also a uh, mesh now what we can do here is you can open the zip okay now how you can open the zip first of all you have to make sure simulation is off okay and then take the moving tool or just uh, like yeah and then slide it down with the moving tool as much you want it to open as i will move it down till here and then simulate it again so this part will get uh unzipped okay so i will unzip it and you can see that clearly it is unzipped so you can unzip the whole thing if you want or you can keep it as it is moreover what we can do here is that i can take the zipper uh itself this whole thing and then if i will go in the property editor now i have the slider i can change whatever slider uh you i want like suppose i don't like this sort of a slider maybe i like this slider so i can take this slider and i don't like this uh, zip itself like puller itself so i can change it to something else like maybe i like this ring sort of a puller okay so this is how i will get the zip so you can change to whatever you want and you can move as like wherever you want to move it how much open you want like you want it to keep totally up to you and just if i simulate it you can see it will open more now other than that what we have what we have here is the gauge okay you can change the gauge to whatever uh, style you want like number eight and it will see uh the size of it will start getting uh larger and larger or you can keep it smaller or if you can go in the percentage you can make it maybe 60 percent suppose it will get more smaller so this is how you can change the size of it weight basically when uh if uh if i will increase the weight maybe to 20 instead of two and simulate again so you will notice that this will become this part will become more heavier and see how it is react how the garment is reacting because of the weight of this uh like slider and the puller okay so this is how it will work here so i will keep it too and plus i can uncheck the fasten if i will uncheck the fasten what it will do is that it will basically if uh, if i will uh, like simulate it it will unfasten the zipper itself just like this okay but let's undo that and keep it fastened reverse direction so the part which is on the top you can see will go at, on the bottom okay and you can see the zipper is starting from here which is not right okay so i will keep it as it is now i can switch the sides like uh the left side will switch with the right side and right side will switch with the left side so you can do with the move to opposite side okay by clicking here so i will keep it as it is i will not change anything now here are some material properties you can change whatever material you want okay uh if you want to render it in the ira using the marvelous designer so you have all these options over here stopper is the bottom part this is the stopper this is the puller and the slider so i hope you like the zipper part the buttonholes part and i hope you have enjoyed this lesson if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it 
uh, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful. So take care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. If you are enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also.